See you later, Mom. I'm going to Nats. I'm going to wake up extra early. Uh, you can talk. Okay. I already started. Hi, YouTube. It's, wait, what's your channel name? Uh, Zombie Master Sasu. <laughs> okay. Hi, YouTube. It's Dragon Dose Girl here on behalf of Zombie Master Sasu, and I'm here to show you my deck profile. So right now we got Triple Darkness Metals, and this is uh, what I'm running in Nats. Triple Mass Dragon, these are all my standards. Nothing really changed here. And the star players of today, Koikimaru Drago. They get rid of, they stop Sheehan, they stop Librarian, they stop Formula, Thors, so many things right now. Things that are like extremely commonly seen today, especially uh, now that, you know, the Librarian is out, so. I have triple Tone Dragons, this helps get around the Drago if you want to bring out your own Darkness Battle. It also is a graveyard setup for Delta Flyer if you want to go into um, Rhinac, and it's also a setup for Light Darkness Dragon. So, double Light Darkness but <laughs> Light Darkness Dragon. This is really, really important right now. Um, there's a lot of a lot of ignition effects going on in the format. It uh, helps slow down your opponent and bring them to their tier level, you know, because this is not tier one, but you can definitely slow your opponent down in all sorts of ways, and this is one of them. Double Dodger, uh, Double Dodger, Triple Drago. I really almost went down to one, um, but it's because of the fluctuation of things you can potentially be matched up against. You know, you want Dodger against heavy back row when you want to go black, black, black rows, or you want to go swarm, and then you really need the Koikimaru Dragos and almost everything else. So I went Double Dodger today. Double Delta, uh, a lot more versatile than the Dread Dragon. I ended up dropping one for a Delta. Double Wyvern, three can get cloggy sometimes, and one Prime Material. Moving on to spells, double pot, three gets cloggy, double MST, one dark hole, one book, one feature, all the one ups, one Sark, and why we're doing one Sark right now is because it's far too slow right now for the speed of the format. You know, everyone's drawing millions of cards off of formula, uh, off of formula and and TG Librarian, and this, you're sitting here waiting two turns for one card. So I definitely went down to one, and it's been working out really well. One monster born and one true name. Then moving on to traps, double warning. One tools, one oppression, another amazing card that slows down your opponent, brings you down to their to your level so that you know you can keep pace for those ridiculous swarms. One solemn judgment, one torrential, one burst breath. Again, this uh, helps clear fields when people are swarming and about to synchro. A nice thing about it is it comboed up with Wyvern because Wyvern is 1800 attack on the dot, which means and TG Librarian is 1800 defense on the dot. So when your opponent goes Tengu Glow Bulb slash Spore and they end their field and they're about to synchro to draw the Librarian and they have Librarian Tengu and Spore Glow Up, you burst breath and they lose everything. So it's a very good card. Uh, and then Blackhorn because of course a lot of synchroing going on right now. This won me a game against my last matchup against Samurai's. It's basically the warning without the 2000 but it doesn't start stop effects that start chains, but it still gets rid of those synchro summons and inherent summons. And one dimensional prison. I went down, no mirror forces, and just one D prison right now because at this point in the format, everyone's doing things in main phase, what the plus, and by the time they enter battle phase, you've already lost out so much because they plus so hard. So I'd rather focus on cards that get rid of that threat to begin with instead of waiting for them to plus. So one D prison right now. And that's my main. We can go on to side. I didn't really, I never really played Double like, Veiler, Monarchs, like, Plants, etc. Uh, Double Bottomless, yeah. Anti Meta, GBs, Black Wings, etc. Double Malevolent Catastrophe, GKs, Anti Meta, Triple Rivalry, very, very warranted right now. Again, lots of plants running around. This is about 60% of what we're seeing right here at this event. So I went back up to one uh, by one. Then we have double T-King, Fairies, Brave Keepers, Samurais, very good card. Double Morphing Jar number two, when you're going second against great, uh, Samurais and you want that extra edge, this gets rid of Synchros off the field at no cost to you really, so it's a really good card. And a nice tech that I uh, decided to use. One Twister, because there's a lot of dimensional fissures going on around here. Uh, every, almost everybody that can main defissure is maining defissure, not even citing it. So uh, game two and three, they're going to want to keep those in against me, and I want to have something other than Catastrophe that can get rid of this. So uh, the Twister is one of those cards. Also good against Gravekeepers and Dragoonities. And one Z Prison to slide back in if my opponent is playing something that's more on my pace, like, Ge like Gemini Beat and uh, Anti Meta. And that's pretty much it. Uh, so what's your record right now? Um, X1 right now. I, this happens at almost all the events I do well at. You know, I'll lose round one, and then I'll end up having a good score at the end of the day. So hopefully I can keep up my record right now. Um, after my first loss, I've only 
uh, one of my next two matches, so uh, I'm going to see how that ends up happening, and hopefully the deck I can take the deck far because the deck is very capable. And my one loss was actually due to my own misplay, so the deck is very capable. It's a really good deck, and it's been doing really well against the tier one decks right now. All right, YouTube. This is I Master Sasuo.